I kind of refer to it as kind of like an, an electrical outlet, electrical box, power box, where you might have to rewire things to make sure to get them to work how you want them to work again. And you kind of have to retrain yourself mm-hmm. on daily tasks. To, like me, it's like I use... I use checklists every day. I wake up each morning. Yeah. Like I make a checklist. It's like, all right, you know, this is what I need to get done. It helps That's so funny. Focused. I do too. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and I, and they actually have me on Adderall because a lot of my symptoms mimic that of ADHD. Mm, interesting. And so it's like, it's, it's to help keep me focused. Um, sure. But when it comes to PTSD, it's like, I mean, it definitely was not a smooth transition. And mm. um, I mean, and I'll, I mean, I'm very open about my experiences. I'm very open about what I've gone through because I've learned that um, if people don't talk about things, other people's not going to learn about it. They're not going to understand it. And I'll admit, so, you know, I let my PTSD um, control me. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, Technically, post-traumatic stress is a disorder according to the DSM-5, but I've, after, I've, I had a counselor that um, actually explained it pretty well. It's like, yeah, it's, you have post-traumatic stress. The only person that can make it a disorder is yourself. And, you know, it's, like, and it's how you, and it's, mm-hmm. you can overcome it. And she explained it. It says, you know, just think about the word disorder. It's like mm-hmm. you, separate, you separate it between this and order and it causes disorder mm-hmm. in your life mm-hmm. and so it's like and that's what was happening it's like i was letting disorder control who i was i mean i mm-hmm. when i got out of the military i was busy working it's like i had i didn't have time to sit back and look back at my experiences i didn't have time to like kind of let things come down to earth